Hi, it's Miss Pritzel, and I am book talking the last Quintista by Donna Barbara Higuera. I know I'm not pronouncing that Spanish correctly. Sorry. Six years of Spanish. Yeah, look at me. All right, so Quintista in, in the English version would be storyteller, so it's the last storyteller. This is a sci fi post apocalyptic outer space story. So it's post-apocalyptic because the earth is coming to an end because a comet's going to destroy the earth and some people are selected to survive so this girl and her family are selected to survive because their mother's a botanist who has invented something really important and her father is a geologist so those are things they are going to need they need these scientists in this future world they're going to uh, planet they're going to um, but this girl you know, she comes from a tradition of storytellers. Her grandmother, who is staying on Earth, uh, is a storyteller, and she believes in the power of story. Uh, so they go to the ship, um, and she and her family are put into the hibernation-type sleep. Um, we learn a little bit about a alternative faction who's against what the government's doing um, and how they're doing it and wants to make a better world. Uh, so when she wakes up um, many years later when they're at this planet that they were intending to get to, um, it turns out that this other faction is now in charge and they are kind of scary. <laughs> uh, so basically they are, they are a faction who they want everyone to be the same and think the same and it's, and if you're not, you get re-educate it uh, forcibly <laughs> and if you don't the re-education doesn't take uh, then they do away with you <laughs> so this girl has to hide that her re-education isn't taking because uh, um, she doesn't want to be done away with um, and so that's kind of where the there's action adventure before that but that's to me that's uh, the main part of the story it's like I'd say two-thirds of the story is at least that part of it and exploring the planet and everything and dealing with this new faction trying to hide the fact that she's not part of it um, I really enjoyed this and this book won a lot of awards and I'm gonna be honest I usually read the books that win a lot of awards but I don't always love them and I don't always like them and I really really did enjoy this book it was a really good read so I would highly recommend if you are a sci-fi fantasy or excuse me sci-fi dystopian outer space post-apocalyptic type reader you will enjoy this um I liked that it had a once again, this is set in a future Earth where we can actually travel into outer space. So, but this character is of Latinx descent. Uh, and that's, I think, you can read it without like feeling like, oh, I'm going to be so behind. Because it really, what comes from that is that tradition of storytelling. And that, to me, is, is the main thing that this character, that brings from that tradition. Uh, so it's a really good book. Um, like I said, great sci-fi if you like that. Uh, hope you maybe check this one out or something else because it's my job, especially with summer coming up, to keep everybody reading. Remember, we got a summer library program, so check it out.